Hello everyone, my name is Seriously Mom, and welcome back to Maze. Now, excuse me, we just came into the facility, we just went down this elevator, and this facility, I don't know, Bob likes himself. Excuse me, I'm guessing this is Ted. Yeah, Ted. Ted, <laughs> Ted Smith, co-founder. Bob P. McTavish, Ph.D., M.A., B.S.C., D.O.P., Esquire, co-founder. Uh, Alright, so I'm going to have to take that off the wall. What is all of this? Welcome to blank. The future is blank. Flashy brochure that appears to be part of the proposed tour of the facility which includes what Bob thought a modern child looked like. Most of the brochure is redacted, except for the walking sentient corn on the front. Oh yeah, we met the corn people. Um, they're kind of cool. They're not very smart. But supposedly neither is my character, so... Alright. Big spooky hallway. So, I wasn't sure if this game was supposed to be... Bobby dummy. Oh, let's read this one first. Hi, Ted. The fish shipment should be arriving today. Could you be a pal and put them in the tanks for me? Thanks, Bob. Bob, you dummy. There are thousands of water tanks here. Do you realize how much feeding these fish will cost? Yeah, Bob... Doesn't seem like he's smart. Um... I forgot what I was going to say. I think of it, I'll say it. Um, X. Oh, I see. They remove part of the. the whoop, whoop. Okay. Um, we have to take one of these weights. Dang, they got a sweet gym. I mean, I'm guessing, because it didn't really seem to be... Why? Why do I have a sweaty headband? Try as you might, you are unable to lift this more than two times in quick succession, and yet somehow you continue to carry it with you wherever you go. A five-pounder? I, ha I have to be a vegetable person. Potential genius. The only way this report could sound more triumphant... Triumphant? is if trumpets were blared every time it was read. Explains the very promising results after examining one of the new sentient corn stalks, a breed of ruby queen corn that shows high levels of intelligence. It also glosses over the fact that this specimen is somehow female, which was apparently impossible under the genetic protocol the facility used to create them. So there's a really smart female version. So I'm a, I have to be a male... Why? I have to be a male stock of corn. Because... Or I, maybe I'm the female stock of corn. Maybe that's what I am. Maybe I'm the smart version of the corn. I mean, I'm still stupid, but... We're on the mill rock with no defining features whatsoever. To discern it from the billions of other rocks currently in existence, its name is Maple. Now I have two rocks that I've named. So maybe, that was weird, maybe I can use the, oh, never mind, we can't use that, yeah. Can I use the English muffin? No. A kids facility, we're going to have a ball. This is like a dog training thing. This is dog training stuff. Why? Why? Oh, that's a cool teddy bear. A Soviet knockoff of a famous American teddy bear, which has a variety of Russian sayings when powered up. Its name is Vladdy, according to the tag. Looks grumpy. Okay. It's a nondescript children's block adorned with letters and numbers. 
and you spend a long amount of time trying to figure out which is which. Eventually you sort it out, but the number 5 still fools you every now and then. Well, except that. That could be a child's toy, I guess. What's this say? Does this say anything? I love naps. Me too. FML ASP I don't think there's anything else really important there <clears throat> I mean if this was a kindergarten room minus the dog stuff I would have loved this but not a dog maybe that's the corn child learning area Maybe that's what that's for. So maybe this isn't for like uh, the workers and such. Maybe it's for the corn that, that are growing up. They you know, have a material that looks like it will fall apart at the mere thought of a gentle breeze. This jumpsuit should not be worn by anyone. Maybe this is like they create them here and then that's where they start to grow up and then they go somewhere else and, and then learn. Ted Ted, exciting news, I got us a huge deal on jumpsuits for the facility. I got thousands in bulk at a fraction of the price. I've already used the savings for some great stuff. Bob, you idiot, you got a good deal on them because they are completely useless and nobody can wear them. I like how he just writes Bob and he writes cordially Ted, even though he's absolutely with it. Invoice for an order of military grade jumpsuits at a heavy markdown from the original cost. All apparel have the name Mitchell embroidered across the breast and only come in size quadruple extra large. The word defective appears a very few times in very small print. Coat rack. I might be able to use that to destroy the Reserve power mode active. I might be able to use this to destroy the part of the wall. Abject failure. Appears to be a report on the warfare readiness of the subjects of Project Maze. The report states multiple times that the sentient corn had no discernible method of raising or operating a military firearm and have a habit of taking naps right in the middle of a test. The term abject failure also appears all over the document, a running theme on many reports involving the corn. So they wanted to make them a military experiment. So, so far we've we've got that. I didn't go this way yet. That's a teddy bear. I don't know what this is. Uh, I don't have that either, and this is like a hammer thing. It appears to be an official guidebook for a tour of the research facility. A large portion of the text inside has been redacted, but 20 pages are fully dedicated to the giant vats and mostly repeat the refrain f the refrain that the vats are very large and contain things that should stay in very large vats. <laughs> okay. Bob, you jerk, put my ram back where it was. I know you took it and hid it in that stupid spot of yours. Bring it back here quarterly, Ted. So that ram is probably in the corner of that wall. Okay, so this goes here. Uh, I guess keyboard goes there. No? Bob, you disgusting slob. Don't you know how to read? Stop eating in here, glutton. Oh, is that what those are? I thought they were like bloody bandages. But they're like burrito wrappers or something? I got you. Nope. What's this? Turn down the power strip. Oh, I need to. Uh, Bob, stop playing your stupid games on my computer. It's screwing around with my AI experiments. So I'm going to have to mess with this after I get that going. Which I don't. It's like a ruler. Oh, here we go. Hiya, Ted. The latest brochure came back from the press. Take a look. Think it'll be ready. Uh, think it'll really boost the tour. 
and you'll be happy to know that the most sensitive bits have been redacted. Safety first. Bob, first, you're an idiot. That brochure is incredibly stupid. Second, for the last time, no tours. Third, if you're going to make this stupid brochure, at least add my name to it. We're co-research heads, remember? As in the same title, jerk. Hi, Ted. Really sorry, but the final print has been done and sent off. I'll make doubly sure the next one has your name underneath mine on the front. Good God, Bob. Do you have the reading comprehension of a five-year-old? This is a top-secret facility. Where did you send those brochures, moron? So, I think Bob is secretly an evil genius. What's this say? Communal grotto? Communal grotto? What do you need a communal grotto for? Oh, cheeseburger. I got you. Originated from the local fast food restaurant. The nutritional information on the wrapper proudly proclaims proclaims now 100% salmonella free. Oh, thank you so much. There are no exaggeration. Thousands of these wrappers littering the facility, but a very fetching mustard stain on this particular one sparked you to pick it up. Oh, is this a third person? Hi, Ted. No. Hi, Ted. Notice that you took down the painting in the lobby. Thanks. It had a little blemish on it. No sweat, though. Here's another one. Be a pal and put it up, would you please? God, Bob is weird. Bob, I'm not putting up another one of your paintings. You self-indulgent louse. For God's sake, how many did you order? And why is my face on that stupid horse? Good question, Ted. I'm with you 100% right now. Bob is... Jesus Christ! <laughs> wow. Um, wow. Bob, you disgusting slob. Until you've cleaned up after yourself, I am blocking your entrance into the bathroom. I'm tired of calling in the hazmat team every week. Oh my god. That's bad news, bears. Military backpack, okay. Small screwdriver. Why did Bob have a military backpack? And why is this his interview chair? You don't... These chairs are terrible to sit in. And they're awful to make it an interview chair. That's just... Oh, what the heck? Schedule. Okay, well, I'm not going to read this one here, so we'll read it afterwards. Can I? What knocked me back? Uh-oh. 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 I got stuck. Oh, I got out. Okay. Woo! I'm not doing that again. Okay, I'll read this now. Uh, a schedule outlining the work shifts of the entire facility staff. Most notable are the shifts of the two founders. They are completely opposite from each other. Bob, Ted, Chris, Montel, Eric, Liam, Jacob, Keenan, Daniel, Brenton, Noah, Emma, Paul, Eddie, Ethan, Isabella, Olivia, Charlotte, and H. Who is H? I'm not paying for this. The invoice for this incredibly extravagant bathroom calls for marble steps leading up to it, up to two extravagant toilets and a sink encrusted with gold. The cost is in hundreds of thousands. Ted left it on Bob's toilet seat with a very pointed statement on financial culpability. Just sketch. This is the thing that goes in the bear. All right, I think we have everything to make that bear. Um, let's go try. Alright. Oh, I gotta put the back pack on. No? That's not... Oh, it's one thing. What is that? 
Well, let's go see if I can bust that corner. Otherwise, I get to go on another scavenger hunt of what I missed. Which, no, that's the... No? Oh, screwdriver. Hi, hey, Ted. Just a heads up, I put your ram right here. This way it gets less dusty. So Bob is a serious, passive-aggressive dick. Hmm. No, the ram doesn't go there. Does any of this stuff? I don't think so. Do I need the... Ah! Uh... That's not how that works. What? What are you looking at? Something on Vladdy's face? Why you not talk? Do you understand? Understand okay, what no. Vladdy is saying. <sighs> Butso boy, you're a big idiot. How you survive by being stupid? <sighs> Fine. Vladdy, help. <sighs> Why guys so many? Huh? What is this on Vladdy's back? This makes no sense. All of this is very stupid. <sighs> so, where we go? This I think is like a he um oh we need you to settle a debate on taking naps. Oh my god, what is that? What is... what is Plan C? Is that a... it is... It's a helicopter! What? Da? Give me a ride, Mr. Helicopter! No, give me a ride! We can all fit just climbing! My lucid drug! What's the way? Why grisomnyoy? Chitanya Vesolo! A rude contraption. Well, if you're just gonna be like that. <laughs> okay. Oh, right. We completely forgot. We have a message for you. It's very important. You should hit the showers. What's a shower? I have no idea. Vladdy does not like it here. So this bear is like an homage to, to Banjo Kazooie. If you've ever played it, Nintendo 64 game, really good. Um, the showers are over here. Nope. But yeah, that's that's what this is. That's a, that's totally an homage to to Banjo, so we, which is cool. Um. Now there was a portrait. I wonder if I have to do something with that portrait. No, it's not there. Where were the damn showers? Now they were here. Okay. I should hit the showers. Ah. Let me stay here while you do your stupid things. You can fit in here, dude. This goes down. Oh. So I'm not I'm not the corn queen. I'm not the smart one. But I still might be one of the stupid corn people. Who has disturbed me? We are not amused that you have kept us waiting. Has our servant what? informed you of your task? No, of course not. Imbecile. No matter. One must do things themselves if one would like it done right. Feels like we have been trapped here for an age. Our cowardly captors saw to that by stopping the righteous light from bathing us in its glory. Of course, we would not expect one such as yourself to understand. But perhaps you are different from the rest. Dare we let ourselves hope that we have finally found our champion? No, likely not. 
But we would be remiss if we did not at least let you attempt to do something of value. So, we bequeath to you your tasks. Restore energy to this wretched place once again. And raise the rings. Only then will you be worthy of consideration. Okay. So, I don't know what the hell West Hook checkpoint is, but... So I think I am a corn person, because she said, like, all the others, and they're all pretty stupid. And the rings, I think, are the... Where did it go? Not here. Ha! Not here. So insulting! How dare it! This insolence will not be tolerated! This one is dangerous. Not like the others. I can see it already. This one has a brain. Hmm, must be dealt with. Nice fanny pack. <laughs> he is probably talking about me. Let's say Q. No, Q does nothing. Um, hmm. All right. So I have to go to West Hook Checkpoint, which I don't know where the hell it is. Um, so did these yellow lines just lead me to dead ends that show me stuff? Yeah. Okay. What's in here? It should be me. It should be me. Surrounded by idiots. Rattle. Underappreciated, ridicule, scorn. Really, what is that? X is not a number. What? Why is that there? <laughs> you should have kept one around to ask about that. X is ugh, ridiculous. Hmm, much better. Some of my best work. We did saying something. What was I doing? Ah, yes, dealing with unwanted guests. Doesn't like standing up bottles. Okay. So, all the humans are gone. I still don't know why I have this English muffin. Um, but, uh, I don't, yeah, I don't know. Um, I was. Ah, oh, okay. idiot! So you are done being stupid up there. Good. Hey, Where are we go? Jerk, man. We're gonna go to West Hook checkpoint. Where we need to. Come on, bear. Oh no! Already got that. Uh, so I'm guessing that's outside again. So let's check that portrait. There are too many containers in here. Lady does not like it. I was gonna say you're not moving there, buddy. Let's see this guy. Aha! These portraits inspiration. Okay, so that's a blueprint of some kind. Uh oh! So I can't leave. I do have to stay here. Oh, it's probably... No, it's not through the showers. Where is the... West Hook Checkpoint. This terrible effort pretty much confirms that you will never, ever, ever have a career in drawing portraits. Your dreams have been shattered. Some type of either schematic or map. Looks kind of like a schematic. But the question is where to go? Useless garbage everywhere! I agree. Completely. 
Can I go to level two? Can you open that? No. Alright. So boy, what a mess. Is this place where all the garbage come from? The answer is yes. Sweet computer. It's a 1988 computer. Old Atari or something. What the heck? Where? What is a West Hook checkpoint? It's not in the vent. Right? Is it that way that was not open before? Oh. <sighs> well. And I got to show what? Why is that bloody oh, job? What is bloody supposed to do? I don't know. Use that arm that's on your back. This stupid thing will never work. It is. Huh? Okay. Oh, I see. So then I gotta do that. Sweaty hip. Oh, I gotta put this up. Well, why can I put that up first then? Yeah. Push the you button. Must be joking. That never worked. Well, that was still stupid. <laughs> okay. Hey, look! I did open a door. Whoa! Cool. All right, so I'm gonna go over here. Check this out. Although this goes just... Oh, it goes up more than where it was. Is this level 2? Or maybe level 3? Or sub-01? Well, that's the way out. This is... Oh. English muffin. English muffin! Uh, let's read that one first. Hi, Ted. Just FYI, I brought the acetylene, acetylene gas, acetylene gas tank up to the farm for the animals, or for the annual. Oh my gosh, this is terrible. Hi, Ted. Just FYI, I brought the acetylene gas tank up to the farm for the annual staff barbecue. Completely corn-free, of course. Ha ha. Bob, how many times have I told you that we can't have barbecues on the farm? Put it back, we're days behind schedule, and stop joyriding with the tractor dummy. So I saw that. So that was an acetylene tank. I thought it was a propane tank. Uh, there we go. This magic water pipe grants you the power to transport water from one end of it to the other. Whoa! There will be no reason for you to do this at any point in this adventure, but you will continue to carry it anyway, just in case. It's a claw machine. Created by Pete Games and Carnival, the design of the loading crane appears to be based off a simple claw game. So it's going to drop stuff, a fact which excited Bob to no end. Ted, conversely, wasn't too thrilled about it, but was stuck with it anyway after Bob forged his signature on the approval form. Wow, Bob's a dick. Hey, Ted, I upgraded the lifting system so two people could use it at once. Our efficiency will nearly double. Bob, know that I do not say this lightly, but this may well be the absolute worst idea you've ever had. God, Ted, the more and more... Oh, this key doesn't work? English muffin? No. The more and more... Hey, Ted, need this box of knickknacks loaded? Be a pal and move it for me, will ya? Bob, you sloth, I'm not your errand boy. Load it yourself. 
So there's two things down here. Bob, the last time, stop leaving your junk everywhere. I don't know why you even have a cello case. You don't even own a cello, dummy. So there's two things here that I need to move or open or do something with. Uh, did I look at these? Hi, Ted. Since this is a highly sensitive area, I added a new security door. No need to thank me. Can't be too careful. Bob, you do realize that your new security door closes for no reason and locks people inside this very secure area. Stop being cheap and get a door that works, moron. You decided to pick this up because you like the direction of the grain in the wood and that it gives you splinters while holding it from every conceivable angle. Ain't that the truth? What did I just do? Garbage. Okay, I got a hammer. I got a box cutter. Oh, that's for the box. Uh, an instruction manual for building your very own two-man submarine. Since Bob and Ted opted for the budget model, the manual is 800 pages long and mapped out in a fashion that is similar to a choose-your-own-adventure novel. Oh. So it's going to be me and Teddy taking the submarine, I think. Or maybe me and the, the queen, queen corn. Fabergé Why eggs. You okay, up so, so much that... Barbage, idiot. Bloody does not understand. Has to go over here, and then I hammer it, and then I get a priceless lockpick. Oh boy! So it's going to be gone after this. <laughs> Wait, what event? What what event? What are we talking about? Did I miss something? Oh, this vent? Uh, in there? Oh, what's the boy? Thanks. Thanks, Vladdy. Stupid idiot. Making You're a pal. Crawl through dumb thing. What is Vladdy supposed to do in here? Stupid. Ah, uh, stupid wires everywhere. Why is this stupid? Oh, ah. Uh, why is this stupid thing upside down? Makes no sense. How stupid are these idiots? Maybe if Vladdy gets... Oh, ah, Vladdy has to... Oh, ah, yes, do this stuff. Ah, ah, boy, I so many. Hey, idiot. Did that work? Stop being stupid I mean, I can't, and say something. I can't talk, Fine. so... Vladdy done anyway. We more Lucy Drew, stupid idiot. Could get nowhere without Vladdy. Vladdy has to do everything. So, now what? Got me, man. All right. Back down. So I luckily chose the correct path to go. I wasn't sure if I needed to go left or right, but I'm good now. And that's, that's where I came from, right? No, that's not where I came from. This is where I came from. So now I can either go that way or that way and find out next time. Uh, I'm going to end it here, guys. Uh, so, as always, thank you guys for watching and thank you so much for the support. I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.